about a game. It's a red skin. fashion with you and in today's video we're going to be learning how to make this trendy neckline the keyhole neckline design I'm sure you're interested to see how this neckline is made if you'd love to see how this neckline is made do keep on watching give me thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel and by the way if you have not seen how I drafted my armhole basic princess start please click the iCard up here to watch that video so it's going to be much easier for you to get right into this one without much rambling let us get started this is my front bodice I have already trimmed it to my blouse length I explained how to do that if you have not seen that video please really you need to watch it so just click up and watch that video the main focus of interest in this tutorial is the neck because we have two necks first thing we're going to do is we're going to trace out this first neck on another pattern paper because i need this i need this armhole let's just say from here measure the length of shoulder you have there so I have seven and a half because my shoulder is 15 inches so I want my neck width to be three and a half inches and I've marked it at that point and the first neck will just go down to about three inches so now I'm going to rule a straight line along that three inches like so and square it on this point so to form the perfect rounded circle I'll make a diagonal of about 3 cm and join this point to this point then join this point here to any point on this line so I want this neck to just be about maybe 2 inch wide so what will be here will just be 2 inch wide but because of sewing allowance, I'm going to do two and a half inch there. So from this two and a half inch, I need to connect this up onto this point. This is what I'm going to be having for the upper neck line. That means the neck depth here from here to here is just about five and a half inches there. I will cut this out and also cut this out. That will be the first neck. So I have this now for the upper neck. I'll keep that aside. Then bring back this one. I'm going to remove this part here. I really don't need it because what i just need to focus on is just this neck here now remember we have up onto this point this main neck stops at five and a half inches it now depends on how low you want to go I mark seven and a half inch that's how deep my neck will be
so I'll cut out this neck. Now that we have this, we'll now come to the bottom of our style line and infuse those panels there. Now that we have this, we'll come and add, just add about two and a half inch. This is the first one for the front part. Remember, this will be cut on four. So we do that for the side. Let's not get to this waistline. So I'm going about two inches below the waistline and I'm flaring it out from there. So, so we have pasted that. We are just going to measure again. Two and a half inch. So from there, I'm going to join from this line here, that's from two inches below the half length. Here is my finished product for the back and here is my finished product for the front with the front neckline overlapping this part of the dress. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this on my fabric and my lining. I'm going to fuse my interfacing as well then I'll come and show you what it looks yes, like. Yes guys, I have finished cutting all my pieces I've cut the fabric and the lining pieces separately so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to join my front center piece to my front side pieces both on the fabric and on the lining and for this part I'm going to join it separately as well so I'll join it along the neck and along the sides leaving the armhole open and even the shoulders open so that's where I'm going to turn it from I also fused um, fusible interfacing to this part they call it hair stay so I fused hair stay to this part so let me start joining the pieces together finally I just finished um, sewing joining all my front pieces together so this is what it looks like on the right side and this is this part that is going to be up here so what we're going to do is I sewed it on this side and I notched the edges if you can see clearly I notched the edges and on this side too I've sewn it closed and I've notched the edges so I'm going to turn it from this part so I have turned and I'm going to iron this now before we here go is my front i turned the neck in with the lining but the sides are left unfinished so i'm going to show you how i'm going to turn the sides in as well so just turn this neck this upper neck with the lining this is just the front and this is where i'm going to be placing this part of the fabric too so I'm going to use pins to attach it by this part. 
remember the shoulders are just the same so you match them up exactly sew it straight there so now let's look at how we're going to place this so this is how the armhole is coming this way so you are going to be stitching right on top of it let's use pins to hold just leave the lining part out use pins to hold just this part so when you're stitching remove the lining out of place and stitch just on this fabric so you see what i did i moved the lining out of place and i'm stitching on that part do the same for the side match it up along the armhole I'll stitch here from this point here moving the lining out of place so when I'm taking it to my machine I'm removing the lining and I'm sewing it this way I'll do it for the same thing remove the lining on the other side sew it that way then I'll stitch up the shoulders close all right guys so I'm gonna have to attach this upper part to my fabric can you see how I stitched it here so I removed the lining there in place and I just stitched it round there. So I've sewn up the sides with the back as well and I have inserted my zip. So if you would love to see a detailed tutorial of how I insert my zip, please let me know below. Those Most of my videos have the way I insert my zip already. This is what it's looking at, like right now. Can you see how the bottom is flared out if you don't want it flared out like mine do not add two and a half inch here to create this flare at the bottom but i wanted the flare that's why i added mine like that so you can see my bust neatly done this place neatly finished and now the next thing we are going to do is finish off the inside properly so let me open it back up so you can observe that we have this piece of lining here we need to attach the backs to both sides i have one of my back piece i've already joined both together so this back piece you know it's for this one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place it this way and so it's right like this i'll do the same for the other side so that everything will be neatly finished too on the inside this way then i'll use it to turn my back neck as well turn my back neck let me join the sides and i'll show you how to turn the back neck. what i'll do is i'll go to my neck for both of the back pin my lining across on the neckline and so whatever allowance that's also half inch here for both sides of the back so now i can flip it inside out so can you see how the inside is already looking neatly finished to attach this part to the zipper part so put it this way and just sew it along the zipper for both sides and you hem the bottom of the lining hem the bottom of this fabric as well then sew it along both sides of the zipper so the only thing now to completely finish this off before i put my sleeve is to attach the shoulders so can you see that the neck is properly finished so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on this then flip this over like this that is going to hide the seam at that point so I'll pin it along there So I'm going to be attaching the shoulder so that by the time I'm through and I flip it over, 
of course this part will be sewn in so everything is going to be neatly finished i'll do the same remember take your your back you place it like so and just use the lining take the lining part then use it to cross over the fabric the front pin it and sew it along that part that's going to finish it off properly so let me do that finish up the seams and i'll attach my sleeve to the dress if you're not going to attach a sleeve remember you just use a bias tape to finish up this armhole but if you're attaching a sleeve go ahead and attach your sleeve and that will mark the end of our tutorial if you like this video please give me a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe guys i love you so much thanks for the support so far god bless you all and catch you in my next one Bye.